if you have just $1,000 sitting in your bank account right now, or perhaps the next time you get paid, you'll have it. I need you to understand that it is entirely in your control to take that $1,000 and turn it into a $100,000 per year income and beyond. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that by really breaking down the entire process of what you need to be doing right now to finally get the ball rolling. And I'm not just going to go and throw generic advice at you in this video and say, yeah, go open up a Roth IRA and start investing. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's really good advice. But if you want to start actually earning a significant amount of income, and I'm talking about like life changing income, then you're going to have to start being more practical and strategic in your approach. Now, before we actually get into the meat of the video, I want to first mention two very critical things that you have to understand if you want to get the most out of this video, because you have to start changing your framework up here before you can actually start seeing physical results manifest. And the first thing that you have to understand is that if you ever want to earn over $100,000 per year, most of you will not get there by working at your current job. The Bureau of Labor Statistics said that of the nation's 120.2 million full-time wage and salary workers, the median weekly earnings were $1,070, which comes out to a little bit over $52,000 per year, which is a far cry from $100,000 per year. And so the first mindset shift that you have to make is to understand that your current job probably isn't going to cut it if you want to actually significantly increase your income. The next thing to understand is that increasing your income to six figures and beyond is going to require work. I can't stand this message that's been going around lately saying that you can make a lot of money and you can become financially free by not having to put in a lot of work. If you desire to see drastic change happen in your life, you have to meet that desire with drastic action. I'm not saying that you have to be the hardest working person in the room. If you are, and that's just who you are as a person, great. But most of us are not naturally inclined to want to work hard. And so you certainly don't have to go full Gary V, but you are going to have to put in more work than you're probably used to, and it will be very uncomfortable at the beginning. That's just the nature of it, okay? And so now that you have a better framework up here, I wanna transition and talk with you guys about the more practical side of turning $1,000 into a $100,000 per year income and beyond. The first step is to simply believe that this is possible. When I left corporate America back in late 2017, I had no money, no skill set, no connections, nothing. But I still believe that it was possible to earn a much higher income. Despite my lack of experience, experience and resources, I believed that it was possible to still be successful. And actually, one of the first things that I did to start making money after I quit my nine to five job was to build uh, websites on WordPress using a page builder plugin called Elementor. And by the end of my first year of building websites, I made close to $80,000. And I'll keep in mind, I had zero previous experience whatsoever. And by the following year, I made close to $90,000. And I'm fully convinced that if I was still building websites today, that I would be making over six figures per year without a doubt. And for the record, you want to know how much it cost me to actually start building websites? Because no, it didn't cost me $1,000. It cost me $15. I paid $15 for my first month on Upwork to get the Freelancer Plus membership, which would allow me to submit more proposals to clients and get more jobs. And as each passing month went by, I made more and more money. Each job got bigger, paid more, and the rest was history. And in terms of how I actually learned how to build websites, well, there's this amazing website called YouTube.com. And if you go to this website, oh, wait, you're on it right now. Yeah, if you just go to YouTube and type in how to build websites using Elementor and spend about a week learning all the basics, you can start making money really fast. Another example, and my personal favorite, is YouTube. When I first started this YouTube channel in 2021, I spent about $800 to buy a used Sony 6400 camera on eBay and another 200 something dollars on a used camera lens and like $65 on a microphone. And so I spent a little bit over $1,000 to actually start my YouTube channel and I always believe believe that it was possible to make a full-time career with YouTube. And for about the first eight months of me making videos on this channel that you're watching right now, I was consistently making content and I put in thousands of hours worth of work for zero pay. Fast forward a year later, and by the end of this year, I'm projecting to make close to $600,000 on my YouTube channel and potentially even more. Now, I need you to listen to me very closely, okay? I am not saying this as a flex. I'm saying all of this because I just need you to understand that I got to where I'm at today because I simply believed that it was possible. And that belief is what fueled the hard work and the dedication. Now, I can already hear people out there saying, oh, okay, Joshua, that's really cute. Very Disney of you. But we all know that it's going to take a lot more than just believing to do this. Okay, listen, I get it. This message is not going to be for everybody. I'm talking to the people, and you know who you are, who desperately want to better themselves, to increase their income so that they can provide for their family, build wealth, and not have to worry about things like how they're going to pay for their next energy bill this month. The next step, though, is to actually decide how you'll go from one thousand 
$100,000 to over $100,000 per year in income consistently. And honestly, this is the hardest part because there are so many different ways that you can make money that it almost becomes overwhelming. And so the goal here is to really break down exactly what's going to work for you specifically. Because I could sit here all day and say, listen, YouTube is without a doubt the best way to increase your income to over 100k per year. And that might work for some people, but for a lot of people, YouTube is not the way. Perhaps you have zero desire to sit in front of a computer and make videos all day, right? Maybe you want to do something outside, like starting a lucrative dog walking business or a car detailing business, because there are people making well over six figures per year by doing these things. Or maybe you say, listen, walking dogs and detailing cars is too much work. I want something that's going to be outside and more passive. Okay, cool. Maybe start a passive dumpster rental business or a passive pressure washing business where you outsource all of the work and then make money on the difference. I've got this entire chart on my computer that breaks down the best side hustles slash business ideas that anybody can start based on your specific personality and preferences. And I truly believe that if I were to break this chart down for you, it would help you to know exactly the best business or side hustle to start for you. Now, if you guys want me to make a video about this, drop a comment down below and just say, yes, I would love a video about that. And if enough people comment, then I'm going to make the video as quickly as I possibly can. And I truly believe that it's going to help a lot of you guys out. But by far, the single most important thing to understand about making 100k per year is to understand the concept of value. Value is without a doubt the single most important part of earning over 100k per year. You see, value is measured by importance. The more important something is perceived to be, the more valuable it is. This is why the Mona Lisa painting is valued at about $850 million, because it has a lot of perceived importance and therefore is very valuable. And so for you, you have to do something, create something, provide some type of service that a lot of people perceive as being important and therefore valuable. For me, for example, when I first started building websites, I developed a skill set that not a lot of people have, but a lot of people need. And because of that, people saw it as being valuable and they were willing to pay for it. Think of it this way. Imagine there's levels to this. And on the first level is someone who, although is healthy and able to work, just sits at home all day, watches Netflix, doesn't work, doesn't contribute any value whatsoever to society. This person is getting paid zero dollars because they are providing zero value. The next level is someone who works some type of entry level job. Something that doesn't require a ton of skills and basically most people can do the job. Think of things like cashiers and shelf stockers. These jobs are everywhere, are very easy to get, and they're not perceived as being highly valuable. And therefore, the amount of money that you make as a cashier won't be a lot. And as you work your way up to higher levels, the levels of perceived importance increases, and as a result, the incomes increase as well. For example, at level four are professionals like doctors, lawyers, accountants. These jobs are very important and therefore are very valuable. And as a result, the amount of income that you can earn from these professions will be much higher. And so if you can start a business or a side hustle or create something or do something that's going to provide a lot of value, then it'll become significantly easier for you to earn over 100k per year. And there's one more thing that I believe you should be focusing on, which is the scalability of the thing that you're doing. Now, sure, there are plenty of careers that after years and years of college and possibly even more years of trying to climb the corporate ladder can pay you over 100k per year. The problem with this though is that first of all, your income will always be capped. You can only ever make as much money as the HR department at your company wants you to make. It doesn't matter how hard you work, your hard work will never translate into a higher salary, minus like maybe a small raise every year. And the second problem is that working a salary job for another company is not scalable. The only reason that I'm about to make $600,000 or more this year, this kid who has no college degree, that's right, I did go to college, but I never actually graduated, and so I don't have any college degree, no previous experience, no previous connections, no advantages at all. The only reason that I can make $600,000 in one year is because I'm doing something that's scalable. When something is scalable, it means that you can put in the same amount of work, and even though you're putting in the same effort, this line here, which represents the work, stays flat. Meanwhile, your income, which is this line here, continues to increase. And so you're not having to put in any extra work, you just continue doing what you would normally do. Your income increases even though your efforts are not increasing. Think of it this way. Imagine that you have a window washing business and when you start, it's just you. But after one year, business is really starting to pick up and so you hire a new employee. Now, this employee will basically allow you to double your productivity because not only are you still cleaning windows, but now you also have this new employee who's doing it as well. And so with two people, you can now make roughly twice the amount of revenue, which means after just a few months, you're able to hire another employee. And this employee has now tripled your revenue. And so the more 
employees you add, the more your window cleaning business's revenue scales and increases. And so do you kind of get it now? By starting something scalable, it's almost a guarantee that your income will never be capped. With my YouTube channel, for example, as long as I continue producing good content that's providing a lot of value to people, my income will continue to grow because I'll always have the old videos in my backlog that continue to make me money, but I'm also always producing more content, which also continues to increase my income even more. Listen to me, okay? It is 100% possible to turn $1,000 into a $100,000 per year income and beyond. Why am I so confident about that? Well, because that's literally exactly what I did, and I am no different than you. It takes believing, it takes you figuring out what it is that you want to start, which again, make sure to comment down below if you want me to make a video about that. Will this require work? Yes. Will there be times when you doubt yourself and you question whether or not you're doing the right thing? Yes. Even I still have doubts. Even I still question myself to this day. That's literally just part of it. You just have to ignore those thoughts and continue staying focused. If you have not already dropped a like down below for the YT algo or subscribe to the channel, frankly, I don't know what you're waiting for. It would mean the world to me if you did both those things. Also, if you haven't already gotten your 12 free stocks from Weebull valued up to $36,000, all you have to do is just click the link down below, open up a Weebull account and deposit just one penny and you'll get 12 free stocks valued up to $36,000. $6,000. It's really a no brainer. Hey, you guys are all amazing. Every single person watching this video. I mean that and I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day or night. And as always, I will see you again very soon. Take care.